AKA Scotty Dutton. And Milton over the middle of the second. Four turnovers. Drake Anderson laid out at the four yard line. And nine straight completions to end the season. Wow, big hit. Coming up defensively. Now, I mean, you can feel this up here. My goodness. That is textbook. Hello, Top right Plays. <laughs> Fourth straight game, Roberson's gone over 100 yards. Now, Kern doesn't have anywhere to go. Can't outrun the defender, Herbig. Remember, he's got good legs. Clifford looking, rolling. Clifford decides to run it, dives, and he's short of the first down. I feel like kind of the perfect marriage of what Harbaugh wants to be and, and where he wanted to go with Josh Gaddis. Except on Bell. Yeah, they're dropping, dropping eight. O'Connell intercepted again. This time it's John Torchio. One man to beat. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. The opening, but Torchio, he sees it. See, he was coming in like a, like they drop him in for a, a spy position. And they dropped him from the outside in that safety and kicked him to the middle. And it was over. Really well done. Now, Torchio stepping right in front for his first interception this year. Now, this has been a... Six Wisconsin sacks after that last one. Down three scores. Marty, six of ten passing. Dumps it out in the flat. It's caught. But it's going to be another tackle for loss. Excuse me, six and a half sacks now for Chanel on the year. Third and a mile. Picked off. Intercepted by Wisconsin. Second of the year for Torchio. Brings it back into Northwestern territory. Had a heck of a ball game. He's been great in run support, breaking up some passes. Now again, just reads the eyes. And Andrew Marty again, just telegraphs where that ball is going to go. Didn't attempt to look off the safety. Didn't attempt to look to another wide receiver. And Torchio made him pay. Sheer to rush for over 100 yards during their seven game win streak. <laughs> Two scores or less, they allow the points. And do they get the first takeaway of the ball game? Opportunities, an opportunity for you to go out and show what you can do. And Torchio just watches the eyes of Jaden Daniels. His eyes, the quarterback, takes Torchio right to the football. That's an easy interception by a guy just playing his job, doing his job, playing center field. Chad Johnson Jr. In motion out of the backfield and got him met behind the line. He's going to lose a couple. Leading the way. You get a little combination of Burks, the outside linebacker, and Torchio, who had the interception early. Inside zone is there for the taken. Great angles, but they're not going to go with it. And extend over the middle. Oh, intercepted. Off. Picked off at the one yard line. It's Torchio. And he may light Illinois State up right here. <laughs> oh, come on. Touchdown. <laughs> 100 yards. Guys that you're asking on the offensive line that then to turn into blockers and chase down folks. Here's Torchy here. All the way on the other side, he reads the eyes of the quarterback. Zach delivers what he believes is a strike, but Torchy is right there on the baseline and just going the distance here. He was going for a towel of the tight end. How about that late block? <laughs> that was a thing of beauty. This crowd has been incredibly accurate and efficient on throws downfield. This one looped over the head and almost intercepted. Was it caught? Yeah, Torchio came across, tracked the football, and it is the first interception of the season thrown by C.J. Stroud. And, and a, throw, a ball thrown behind Harrison. And what a heck of a catch by Torchio. The concentration definitely gets his feet down and has the left arm wrapped around the ball. Ball did not move. But boy, you, you're seeing this in super slow motion. But if you see this in full speed, I mean, it, that, that was a bang, bang play. To see that ball come around ha uh, Harrison and then be able to catch it 
And then to be able to get his feet down, that's a, that's a great play, and it gives Wisconsin a chance here. Illinois will begin on offense here in the second half and hands to Chase Brown. Trying to spin his way, a pickup of about six on that run. And a really experienced corner on the tackle for Wisconsin. Jay Shaw, a transfer from UCLA. Today's his 49th game between his time with the Bruins and the Badgers as John Torchio. You have to account for number 15 all the time. Now they're running zone. It's third and a short two for Northwestern. And Hall is hit hard. Tatum Grass, part of that. There's just nowhere to go. Look at this penetration by this Wisconsin defense. He tries to cut back off the shoulder of his tight end. Setting up for what will be now a 47-yard drive. And they're now on the right half. That surprises me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Problems. Gonna let it fly, and that will be it. We're headed to overtime. Wow. Reed in motion. Thorne goes to Reed, the safety valve. Not much. Tyrone Tracy empties the backfield on third and five. O'Connell looks that way. And it's intercepted! Tracy was the intended receiver, and waiting for it was Torchia for the pick six touchdown. Torchio's right here, and he's just going to drop down. Now, the concept is going to be a little bit of a shallow cross F post. What you're trying to do is go this way and this way and see if Torchio follows. But he's got vision on the quarterback, Aiden O'Connell. He does a great job of driving that little short post to Tyrone Tracy and walks it in for six. That's great for Torchio, who last week had a little bit of an undisciplined play. Bad eyes. Look at him drive on it. Wait. Play high to low. AOC never sees him. What a start for Wisconsin at home. Only the sixth interception thrown by Aiden O'Connell against 14 touchdowns this year, but a costly one by John Torchia. So this the second offensive possession for the Boilers. There is a blitz. O'Connell, and he throws another interception, and it's Torchio again. This time he doesn't take it to the house. Open his hips like he's going to drop C there, and now he's going to drive on the football with vision from Aiden O'Connell. He's trying to hit his tight end right there. That is called a robber technique. You are trying to rob the middle of the field for any in-breaking route. He lied to him off the snap when he fakes like he's going to go to the deep half. Be loose. No. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage.